Uh, now some more TV news. The second longest running primetime drama ever was Nat Knott's Landing. It lasted longer than the show it was spun off from Dallas. But the cast rarely gets together until now. Stacey Galandi with an exclusive Knott's Landing reunion. For 14 years on Knott's Landing, we grew to love Abby, Valine, Gary, and the other residents of this suburban cul-de-sac through all of their trials and tribulations. But the cast has rarely been together as a group until now. Behind me is the ranch house used as a location in Knott's Landing. Remember the Sumner Ranch? Well, this is where we decided to bring many of the cast members of Knott's Landing together for a little reunion. Just a minute, Ab. Surrounding Ted Shackelford, a.k.a. the adulterous Gary Ewing, were his ex-wives, conniving Abby and poor Val, played by Joan Van Ark and Donna Mills. Michelle Phillips, who portrayed comic vixen Ann Matheson, Kim Lankford, who was the innocent singing songwriting Ginger, and last but not least, Abby's drug addicted daughter Olivia, played by Tanya Crow. Ted, being in between your two ex wives here, I hope. That, is there any feeling for either one this time? I had no feeling for them in the first place. <laughs> this was definitely a cast who had a lot of on screen drama. The poisonings, the psychos, the squabbles, the divorce, the adultery, remarriage, death, rebirth. And that was just in the makeup room. <laughs> Joking aside, the ever-slim Joan Van Ark, who continues to act, says the show's success depended on the congenial cast. Because of the people that were in the show, there weren't the gigantic egos, there weren't the fights in the ladies' room. At 60, Donna Mills has her own makeup line, and while she never married, seven years ago she adopted her daughter Chloe. It couldn't have happened to me at a better time of life. Um, I've just loved every minute of it. Tanya Crow was just nine when she joined the cast as Abby's daughter Olivia. While 90210's Brian Austin Green played her brother, she only had eyes for Alec Baldwin, who was on the show in 1983. I gotta admit, Alec was a cutie. <laughs> Former Mamas and the Papas singer Michelle Phillips' life rivals her characters. She's had several husbands, and her marriage to Dennis Hopper lasted only eight days. She recently appeared on Spin City and reads for roles often. I read for everything. Yeah, I, I have absolutely no scruples. <laughs> As luck would have it, Kim Lankford is now singing in real life. Every now and then. She says she has Knott's Landing to thank for that. I have such warm feelings for all of us, even though we were, we're all nuts. <laughs> for these cast members, this time was bittersweet. Julie Harris, who played Val's mom, Lily May, is in poor health and couldn't attend. But it just proved how connected they all are to each other. We are connected. We were then, and we always, always will be. Hmm. That's nice. Still to come, what's...